Hello and welcome to the Surfing Bins review video. In this video we'll take a look at 5 pros and cons with the Surface Pro. But before we get into pros and cons, let's take a look at the specs of the laptop. Surface Pro 4 is meticulously crafted to be a powerful, ultra-thin laptop that can stand on its own. It is great for business travel or a life that keeps you moving. This specific model I have is 8.44mm thick, thinner and lighter than its earlier versions, 12.3 inch pixel sense display, best in class latency, best in class parallax and palm detection, all year pen battery life, magnetic storage, laptop class keyboard, faster and quicker typing, designed for stable typing, highest precision glass trackpad, 40% larger touchpad, 5 point moody touch, hybrid cooling system, 6th generation Intel Core processor, 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte storage, front facing immersive audio, 8 million pixel camera with autofocus. Now this specific configuration will cost you $2200, so it's definitely not cheap with that said though, let's get started with the 5 pros and then get into the 5 cons. First up is just the overall build and design and I'm gonna say they have done a phenomenal job, choosing the materials and designing the Surface Pro, everything from the stand to the shell of the laptop, is well designed and I really like how the keyboard when not in use, acts like a really high quality screen cover and going from laptop mode to tablet mode is as simple as just pulling the type cover off, there's no buttons to do it, but just pull it off. Next up is Windows Hello for logging in, this is seriously a feature I think every new Windows laptop should have. It is so easy to use that, just set it up once and every time you open the laptop it'll take you straight to the desktop, in a matter of milliseconds. My third pro with the Surface Pro is, how well it acts as a laptop and even though by definition, the Surface Pro is more of a tablet. It still works very well in laptop mode, with a tight cover. The trackpad for example is on par with my MacBook Pro's trackpad, which believe me, I haven't been able to say about any other Windows machine before and the keyboard has a fairly long channel distance, great quick controls and just a very nice feel to it. Number 4 on my list is that awesome display and while it doesn't have the super thin vessels, like on the XPS laptop from Dell and it is in 4K or OLED. It looks so good and the touch functionality works so well, don't get me wrong though it's still got a pretty high resolution of 2736 by 1824 and if you think that resolution seems a bit weird, that's because it has a 3 by 2 aspect ratio display, which I think is actually fantastic on a laptop, tablet like this. Number 5 on my list of significant pros with the Surface Pro, is its awesome battery life, it really surprised me how good of a battery life. I got with it even with the highest spec i7 model and 16 gigs of RAM paired to that awesome display. I got around 7 to 10 hours of use with the laptop before it died. Now that's awesome, so with the pros done, let's get into the cons. Starting with the port selection, it only has one full size USB port, a headphone jack, a mini display port and of course the charging port. Now you can expand this with a dock, that you connect to the charging port. But the dock is very expensive and you can only get one dock, the one that Microsoft makes. So my ideal port selection would be something like, two full-size USB ports, a headphone jack, an SD card reader and two USB Type-C, done about three ports and you could use one of them as a charging port, that would in my opinion will be the ideal port selection for this laptop. Next up I would have loved to see different colors available and I mean, the actual tablet itself and not the type covers. Now I do realize that this is a huge nitpick and doesn't matter at all, the Surface Pro is actually really that good, so I can only complain about these small things. So in terms of color choices I would love to see in, matte black one is space gray one and also the colors available on the Surface laptop like burgundy, cobalt blue etc. Next up is the speakers and while they're not horrible, they're not very good either, so don't expect them to be on the level of a new MacBook Pro for example. My fourth con with the Surface Pro is the camera and inbuilt microphone, they kind of suck and yes, I know most of you don't care about that and to be honest with you I don't really either. Now my last con with it is the price and that's because well to put it lightly, it's not cheap by any means, this model as mentioned before, costs a whopping $2200 and features a dual core CPU. So as a conclusion the Surface Pro is a great 2 in 1 laptop, probably even the best one I've ever used. Their build quality is amazing. The type cover is great and so it's battery life. However the port selection is weak and it has a pretty steep price tag for a dual core machine. The Surface Laptop is an absolutely gorgeous device and Microsoft's attention to detail, when it comes to making a desirable and slim machine has paid dividends. Equipped with the cobalt blue type cover, this feels and looks like a premium device. 
If you are fancy about buying the Microsoft Surface Pro here, you can find links in the description below this video and as always please let me know what you make of it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.